So, Arun, uh, you have also experience of passing such assessment as a senior crown prosecutor's exam. Uh, maybe yes. a few comments about that. Maybe there's, as, as far as I know, you eventually um, didn't work as a prosecutor, as a senior prosecutor, but maybe you can share a few tips with those who possibly consider this assessment. Yeah, so whoever has a right to work in England, um, they can sit for these uh, crown prosecutor or senior crown prosecutor exams, which they call for every three months, actually, because there is a huge demand for prosecutors. So it's conducted by the crown prosecution services, and the exam is twofold. One is a written and followed by an interview, which is, which is like um, follow up to whatever written answers you have provided. So how it works is they will give you a case facts and you are expected to act as a prosecutor and you have to say whether the person should be charged or not. So you have to analyze how it should be done and they will give you the CPS code of conduct. You have to go through it on the spot and you have to answer the question in um, as if you're a prosecutor, you will write a memo to say that on this basis, this person should be charged or on this basis, he shouldn't be charged. And once it's done, you will get a 15 minutes break. And during that time, the, the interviewers will go through your answers. And then they, it will be a panel of interviewers, mostly district prosecutors from various parts of England who will put across questions to you based on your answer. Then they will ask you about your behavioral, your competency related questions. And once you pass through, then they will let you know that, that you've got through and uh, and they will give you an option of like, they will let you know where the vacancies are available and you decide whether you want to carry it on or not. One of the reasons why I didn't take it up is because the vacancies which came for me was for down south in Southampton, Dover area, but I wanted to stay in London for personal reasons. So, so I opted to stay in private practice rather than going for government service. Great. Thank you very much. So I think we can proceed with our lecture. 